Iowans News, your local election headquarters. Today is the deadline to apply for a mail-in ballot for Rhode Island's primary in September. This comes as the nation is trying to narrow in on some of those issues plaguing the U.S. Postal Service. Brandon Truitt is live in Providence this morning with more on how some of our local lawmakers are stepping in. Hey, Patrick Daniel, good morning. In Rhode Island, you have to apply for a mail-in ballot. So today it's those applications that are due, not the ballot itself. The Secretary of State's office saying those applications are due by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Again, this is for the September primary, not the general election. Now, they say it's too late to send that through the mail. They're recommending going to the Board of Canvassers yourself and dropping it off. Once again, that application, when it's processed, then you'll be uh, sent your mail-in ballot. Of course, all of this coming as the U.S. Postal Service is stepping up front and center in Washington again. This morning, we've learned the Rhode Island congressional delegation will hold a joint news conference on issues impacting us locally. Reports of scaling back the service at a time when mail-in ballots are expected to flood the system. The controversial Postmaster General Louis DeJoy has agreed to testify on Capitol Hill next week. Lawmakers say they'll be there. They're working to pass legislation to stop any more changes to the service. Now, the White House continues to say that all of this is in an effort to streamline the Postal Service. They say that it's, quote, over budget. The president continues to hang additional funding over Democratic lawmakers' heads, saying that he'll approve that additional funding when they agree to his version of the coronavirus stimulus package. Live in Providence, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.